<laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Set him <them> down. <laughs> okay, we're good. We are on the Kroningervad and we are going to go out and count some fish. As part of the Swimway project, I am researching the function of salt marshes for fish in the Vodden Sea. We do that uh, by setting nets in the, the mouth of the, uh, the creeks and we catch the, uh, the fish that leave the salt marsh on the outgoing tide. <laughs> Ooh, it's a big crab. He's stuck again? Here. And we count the fish and we measure them and it tells us uh, about their abundance and how that might fluctuate between different parts of the uh, different seasons, for example. Uh, common goby adult, a uh, four. The value of salt marshes for fish appears to be as a, as a key nursery habitat. And they, they come here to feed on, um, for example, terrestrial uh, invertebrates and also for shelter and for uh, reproduction. And you have this area where you have an exchange between the terrestrial side of the marsh and also into the, the water. So the fish can also swim a little bit on the, the marsh surface and then the insects can get flooded into the creeks also. The results of this research we hope will uh, at the very least tell us more about how and why fish use this particular habitat and we've designed the project in such a way that it, uh, it tests how different management strategies such as uh, grazing or um, the stage of marsh regeneration can influence the fish composition and abundance. At the end of the project we hope to say, uh, make some management recommendations for the future of how the terrestrial side of marshes could be managed to uh, improve the function of the salt marsh for fish.